having lost someone, then yes. And if you're on your own, it is bad. Well, the worst one was the first Christmas I lost my husband. And that was lonely. But having said that, I have a wonderful family. A marvellous daughter here in Bristol. So I was very well looked after and the hurt wasn't quite as bad as it would have been. Christmas is a special time of year when we surround ourselves with family and friends. But sadly, for many older people, this just isn't possible and they find themselves facing Christmas alone. I love Christmas, always have. It's a family time, isn't it? And I know a lot of people don't have families, so it's not as good for them as it always has been for me with a, big, with a family. I mean, here, I've never lived in a community and, and this house is absolutely lovely. And to have people around you, which those people on their own obviously haven't, it would be wonderful, yes. But there's one community organisation in our city trying to combat loneliness by flinging their doors open and offering a free festive lunch with all the trimmings. Um, well, we at Abbey Field are opening up all of our five houses on uh, the 11th and 18th of December for Sunday lunch to invite people in from the local community. It's, it's something, we're part of a national organisation, the Abbey Field Society, um, which was originally set up to alleviate loneliness. That was the core aim of it. Um, and everything that we do is about bringing people together and you know trying to enhance the quality of life for older people um, and that's what we want to do particularly at Christmas and you know why stop at Christmas? Unfortunately all across the UK there will be a lot of people eating alone this Christmas. Almost a million elderly people aged 60 or over feel lonelier during the festive period compared to the rest of the year with more than one in four people saying they can't wait for Christmas to be over. For many, for many people it is a, a lonely time of year and, and, and strangely for some people Christmas has always for many been associated with good times and families and things like that so a lot of older people if they've suffered bereavement will find Christmas a really difficult time so sometimes even if you ask a lonely person in for Christmas they won't want to come because for some that, that they'll, they, they don't want to have that Christmas without the, the family that they, they, they used to have. But for many other older people, they would be absolutely delighted to be involved in, in other people's Christmas celebrations because it is a cold, depressing, depressing time of year. So with a small act of kindness, whether it's a card, a visit or even a good old Christmas dinner will make a big difference for an older person facing loneliness during this festive period. I'm Rachel for Made in Bristol TV.